Hello everyone, it's Jessie, an artist living in Japan, and today we are making an archaeologist 1920 Spanish colonial inspired home <laughs> in The Sims 4 using only base game, jungle adventure, and outdoor retreat. That's right, just two packs with base game. This is part one where we make the entire house in the game and then in part two we draw the house with some added features like a character bio, floor plan, house description, etc. Now there is going to be one CC custom content item that I've added in the house which is going to be a piano by Illogical Sims. However, if you are a console player, I've also made sure to upload the same exact house without that custom content so that you can download this house as well. Okay, let's get started! Here we have Lisandro Colon and his story and persona is what strongly affects the style of this home. So let me tell you a little bit about his story. The story for him is set in the 1920s. He's from a wealthy family, so as a child, he had everything he wanted, plus more. His parents valued education, so he was homeschooled and had piano and violin lessons as well. They wanted him to be a cultured and, you know, well-presented lad of society. He loved learning, so he didn't spend much time doing sports and detested the idea of hunting. So. He does have a heart, he just tends to spend more of his time in academics. Then later in his young adult years, he finds papers in his father's study describing an adoption of a small Selva Dorada baby boy to two parents and then his parents. Then he realizes the papers are about him and it leads him to be more curious about what he feels is his, you know, his cultural origins. So his interest in culture, historical discoveries grow and decides to study archeology span and go into archeology. span It's a new time of exploration. So he tells his father he wants to go to Selva Dorada and search for hidden treasures. Just, just search for something, you know, that adds meaning to his life. So his father obviously doesn't agree because he's very conservative and he says that he should be settling down with a nice wife who will give him sons and a big family, but Nisano just isn't up for that type of life, you know? So his father gives him a choice he can't refuse. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. Go to Selva Dorada for his expedition on his own. He will give him a little bit of money to start out because he's not that cruel. Like he's pretty cruel, but not that cruel, but he must succeed. Or his other option is if he fails, he has to return back home, get married and be a proper gent. So uh, Lisandro goes to Cerva Dorada to start his cultural journey. Although because he comes from a wealthy background, he really sticks out a lot and is quite clumsy when it comes to socializing with people. Basically just anybody who isn't wealthy. And Selva Dorada is just filled with, you know, regular folk. The average person. And he's not a bad person, he just doesn't know how the real world works. He also isn't prepared for the difference in weather, so I put him in a lot of uh, more fancy pants and you know, clothing that's not for the summer. So he may get hot in his clothing. Anyways, going back to the story. So I'm thinking that he uses his father's money and he builds what he believes to be a modest lodging. He incorporates styles from the local culture for the exteriors, something very Spanish colonial or Spanish eclectic. However, in the inside, he wants to feel comfortable still incorporating certain local textiles and materials but in order to feel like he has a home away from home he adds a lot of the style that he has grown up with like for example the darker colors and that sort of closed in space he does have a housekeeper a gardener and a cook that come to his house every day so he's technically not really alone and he also makes sure to add a guest room in case anyone visits 
and needs a place to rest their head for the night. Now, this is the part that gets interesting. I thought it would be nice if he someday, while exploring the woods, he finds a girl. A small young girl wearing rags, has messy hair, very dirty, crouching down on the ground within some bushes with like a bleeding foot or just an injury. And, you know, our young Lisandro here has a very kind heart. He's a very kind man. So he may have been a spoiled brat, but he's not a bully. So after some attempts, he takes the girl back to his house, tends to her wound while continuing his research, and lets her stay for the time being. We don't know anything about this girl actually, but now knowing that he was adopted, he has this need to help her where he can, kind of like a slight tender gesture that surprises even him. So his guest room slowly turns into the little girl's room and she herself is extremely cautious, you know, like hiding under the bed or behind furniture, wherever anyone, including Lee Sangdo, comes near her. So he tries to go to the local market and buy dolls for her, you know, to figure out what she likes and trying to get her to open up. Then one day, while Lee Sangdo's in his study, the little girl comes in, walks around carefully, her eyes filled with wonder as she looks up at all of his books and then stops at the map on the wall. He watches her with curiosity and she points to a spot on the map and she utters the first word that she has ever said since she stayed, home. And that's the archeologist story as well as some explanation as to why this house looks the way it does and its style. So. I hope you like that story. I just, I thought it was interesting and it kind of gives you a little bit of a cliffhanger. I've never spent much time making that much of a background story, but I do think it's helpful to have someone in mind when you're making a home. Anyways, this all came from the idea of making a Spanish colonial home from it, 1920s America for an archeologist and just going from there. You know, I love The Sims and if you clicked on this video, I'm sure you enjoy The Sims as well and will understand when I say that the game is missing a lot of that depth. So, you know, let's do it ourselves, right? And again, here the home is finished. I just want to point out that we are only using base game, jungle adventures, and outdoor retreat. And there is only one custom content item, which is the Upright Piano by Illogical Sims. You only need base game for it, so the link for that it's going to be in the description. And if you are a console player, I have also uploaded this in the gallery without that custom content, so you can download it as well. And as always, thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you enjoy builds with character stories like this, or if you prefer me just rambling on and having a slightly shorter video. And I will see you next time. Ciao.